Hey guys, welcome back. I am Selena from Digital Design. In this video, I will show you how to add keywords and meta descriptions to your WordPress website. Okay, let's get started. First of all, we need to install a plugin for this purpose. Go to your WordPress dashboard, scroll to the plugin section. Click on Add New. Now, search for Yoast SEO. This is the plugin we needed. Click on Install Now. Wait until the installation process is complete. Now click on Activate. Once you installed Yoast SEO, you will find Yoast SEO icon in both toolbar and admin bar. Drag the mouse over Yoast SEO icon. Now click on General. Here switch to Features. Now make sure to turn on all of these settings. If you are agreed with usage tracking, you can turn it on. I am not interested in usage tracking, so if I kept it as it is, after completing all settings, make sure to click on save settings. Ok. Now let's start adding meta descriptions and keywords for all pages and products. I am going to add meta descriptions in my blog posts. Scroll to the post section. Click on all posts. Here you will find all blog posts of your website. I am going to choose this blog post to add a meta description. Drag the mouse over the post. Click on edit. Now it will take you to edit the page. Here you will find the new section, Yoast SEO. First, you need to give focus key phrase. Focus key phrase is the main focus keyword that is great for improving SEO. For example, this blog post is talking about SEO. So I give key phrase as SEO. Next, you will find the preview for both mobile and desktop search result pages. Here coming to the important part which is SEO title. SEO title is nothing but this area. To edit, click the box. Click backspace. Now type the title where you want, but will relate this blog to reach your targeted audiences. Better you find SEO title by using SEO tools like Ubersuggest or something. Moving to next is slug. Slug is nothing but this area. Make sure, your slug should be neatly typed in this format. This is fine for me, so leave it as it is. Next. We are moving to an important part, which is meta description. This is the most important part of attracting your audience. Type the contents which include some keywords which are related to this blog. If you difficult in write contents for this area, no need to worry. Go to all posts page. Choose the post you to change description. Click on view here. Here you can copy the contents for your meta descriptions. Now go back to the edit the posting page and paste the contents here. Ok, now our meta description is ready. Moving to the next option, which is SEO analysis. Here you can see the SEO performance of this blog. It suggests me some issues like no outbound links which are external links. That there is no image in this post. So we need to add some images for this post. Next, you can link Wincher to track live SEO performance. Next, you can find cornerstone and other advanced settings for this post. I added all these useful articles links in this video description. Once completed all your changes, click on the update here. In the same way, you use 
used SEO for specific product pages. And also you can do it same for content pages. That's it guys. I hope you like this video. Don't forget to subscribe to Digital Design. Finally, thank you for watching.